I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will develop a relation between sine and cosine. The basic definition of sine and cosine is within a right triangle. So let me begin by sketching one right triangle. So let us say this is the right triangle for us. Where the angle given to us is let us say angle theta. And this is the right triangle. So when that is the angle theta for us, we'll call this side as the opposite side and this one as the adjacent. So let me label this triangle as triangle ABC. Now in this triangle, how are the two legs of a right triangle related with the hypotenuse? Well, they are related with Pythagorean theorem, right? So, we all know what Pythagorean theorem is. It relates all the three sides of a right triangle. So, the relation is AB square plus BC square is equals to AC square, the hypotenuse. Now, if I divide all these sides by AC square, what do I get? So, let me rewrite this. We have AB square plus BC square equals to AC square. We are dividing each term with AC square, correct? We are dividing each term by AC square. So, we get AB over AC whole square plus BC over AC whole square equals to AC square over AC square should be 1. Now what is AB over AC? Now AB for angle theta is the adjacent side, right? And CB is the opposite side. AC is hypotenuse. Let us recall Soka to us. Sine is the ratio of opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is the ratio of adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan is the ratio of opposite over adjacent, right? Opposite over adjacent. Now we have AB over AC. AB over AC is adjacent over hypotenuse. So I could write this as cos theta, right? Square of that normally written as cos square theta plus BC over AC. BC is the opposite side. Opposite over hypotenuse is sine. Square of sine theta, right? Sine square theta equals to 1. Do you see that? So that is the relation which we are talking about. So the relation which we just derived is normally we write this as sine square theta plus cos square theta is always equal to 1. Now since we used Pythagorean theorem to derive it, in trigonometry also this relation is called Pythagorean identity okay so this is called Pythagorean identity now at times we may use different forms of this identity we could write sine square theta as equals to 1 minus cos square theta we could also write this as 1 plus cos theta times 1 minus cos theta right difference of squares Similarly, we could write cos square theta as 1 minus sine square theta and that could also be written as 1 plus sine theta times 1 minus sine theta, right? So, these are very, very important relations which we should keep in mind, especially when we are solving trigonometric equations or proving trigonometric identities. 
Amadal Kumar and I hope this helps you to understand the relation between sine and cosine of an angle. You can always share and subscribe my videos to learn and don't hesitate to post questions. Thank you and all the best.